God took care of Ruth and Naomi, so I know he'll take care of me and my homies. Welcome, everybody, to the Jay Sadie Variety Show, and praise the Lord. I'm Jay Sadie Gray, and I'm here with my sister, Judy Lynn. Our mama called her Lenny, so I'll call her Lenny. Isn't that right, Lenny? That's right, Sadie. Well, the Lord has given us this show so we can glorify him. And he's brought us through a lot of big things and, uh, well, well, a lot of little things. Isn't that right, Lenny? That's right, Sadie. Well, we'll tell you a little bit about it, but first, here's a song by the Riders in the Sky called Song of the Trail. I have heard the thunder rolling out across the mountains high. And the wind is singing through the clouds that drifting through the sky. It's the song, it's the song of the trail, of the trail. It's the song of the trail. Lightning flashing, thunder crashing on a mountain trail. I have seen the yawning canyons and I've climbed the highest peaks. I felt the sun, the wind, the rain upon a carefree cheek. It's the song, it's the song of the trail. Of the trail. It's the song of, of the trail. Down the canyons, good companions on a mountain trail. I have seen the works of glory and I felt the mighty hand of the one who made all this out here and made me what I am. I have heard the timbers singing and the mighty rivers roar. And hymn of hymns to the mountains, and I'll hear it evermore. It's the song, it's the song of the trail. Of the trail. It's the song of the trail. Timber singing, voices ringing on a mountain trail. It's the song of the trail. I have seen the works of glory and I've felt the mighty hand Of the one who made all this out here and made me what I am I have heard the timbers singing and the mighty rivers roar And hymn of hymns to the mountains and I'll hear it evermore It's the song, it's the song of the trail, of the trail. It's the song of the trail Timbers singing, voices ringing on the mountain trail it's the song of the train. Wow, what a great song. I really enjoy those boys singing too. Hey, by the way, our cousins, Kevin Kim and Kennedy Walden, recorded our theme song. The words are, God took care of Ruth and Naomi, so I know he'll take care of me and my homie. I wrote that little jingle while we were going through a hard time, and it started around back in 2007. Lenny and I were caring for our parents, and they were living with us. Isn't that right, Lenny? That's right, Sadie. That year, our mama, she was diagnosed with lung cancer in February, and our dad was a really bad diabetic, and when the month of June came around, Mama went to be with the Lord, and then at the end of September, Daddy passed. Lenny and I, well, we were grieving for the loss of our parents, and you know, I called it good grief because it was good we were letting go of the emptiness of them being gone. It was good grief. Lenny and I worked at the same place and were told to attend a budget meeting and at that meeting, we both were told we no longer had jobs because they were downsizing. Well, because of that type of organization we were with, we were not eligible for unemployment. So basically, basically within four short months, we went from four checks coming into the household to no checks coming. We were dumbstruck and were flooded with despair. Well, that weekend, it was my birthday weekend. Happy birthday, right? I prayed to the Lord. I said, Lord, I've got to hear from you, especially this weekend. Tell me where we, I can read in the Bible 
to get help, I felt to read the book of Ruth. Well, I thought to myself, hey, that's only four chapters. I can do that. So I did it. Well, the next day was Saturday, and that afternoon, I turned on the TV, and I ran across a movie which was geared toward teenagers, and it was about the book of Ruth. I watched it. The next day was Sunday, and that morning, at about 7 a.m., I turned on the TV, and it was Joel Osteen on, and he said, your Boaz is coming. Okay, that's three days in a row now that I've heard about Ruth. I thought, that was odd. Then the next weekend rolled around, and I turned on the TV, and the little preacher out of Kentucky was on, and he said, turn to the book of Ruth. You know, immediately I realized that God was using the book of Ruth to guide Lenny and I through this time of despair, this season in our life, this hard season, and I began to write everything down that I heard about Ruth. I have done this from October of 2007, and here it is, 2015. I've done it to this very day. I've heard something about Ruth from the Lord every month. Well, God impressed on me to write a book about it, so I did. And it's called, My Mama Named Me Janet, But God Calls Me Ruth, A Testimony of God's Delivering Power. Isn't that right, Lenny? That's right, Sadie. Well, we'll talk more about him delivering us next week, and I think it's time for another song. And this one is, Give Me Jesus, by Fernando Ortega, from the album, Home. And when I come 
to die. Give me Jesus. Give me Jesus. Give me Jesus. You can have all this world. You can. That was beautiful. I just, I just enjoy that song so much. Well, just a couple more things before we go today. First, I wanted to share a quick, quick recipe, an easy peanut butter fudge recipe. All you got to do is take a can of vanilla frosting and melt it into the microwave. And while it is melting, empty a regular sized jar of peanut butter, usually about 16 ounces, into a heat resistant bowl. And once the frosting's melted, pour it over the peanut butter and stir together well and pour it into a buttered pan. Let it cool and then slice it into squares and enjoy. I've got another quick household tip about fixing scratches on wooden furniture and floors. Just get a jar and mix together three-fourths cup oil and a fourth cup vinegar. It doesn't matter if it's white vinegar or apple cider vinegar. Just take a cloth and rub the mixture into the wood really, really well and let the wood just soak it in. Don't wipe it off. It should take care of scratches. And you know what, be careful if you use it on your floors because the oil will be slippery for a little while, so be real careful. Well, we don't want the broadcast to go by without letting you know that Jesus loves you. You know, in Romans 10.10 10, it says, For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. If you're not saved and you want to be, Pray this prayer with me. Just say, Heavenly Father, I'm sorry for my sins, and I will turn away from them. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. I believe you are the Son of God, and that you died for me, and you rose again. In Jesus' name. You know, if you prayed that prayer, and you believe it in your heart, you just got saved. Praise the Lord. Call someone and tell them the good news. Find yourself a Bible-believing church and read your Bible every day. You know, reading the Bible every day, that's what got Lenny and I through such a hard trial. Isn't that right, Lenny? That's right, Sadie. Well, that's it for today, and I hope you enjoyed it. And find us on Facebook and like us on our page, J. Sadie Gray. G-R-A-Y. And also, if you want to send us a letter, just send it here to the station, and they'll get it to us. For most of us, it's prayer meeting time. It's Wednesday night or Bible study time, so let's all get going to church and be careful. God took care of Ruth and On behalf Naomi of Lenny and myself, J. Sadie Gray, let's pray that soon the sun will rain. God bless you all in Jesus' name.